Hello Libra, welcome to the channel, welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you all so very much for joining me. I hope you all are doing well. This is going to be for those of you with Libra placements in your chart. Take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Could be past, present, or future energy. Could also be someone else's energy in your energy field. So only take what's yours, leave the rest for someone else, and flip the roles if you need to. Let's get into this, y'all. Libra, what's going on in your love life? Tell the truth Thursday for Libra. One card, please, Spirit. And if not, I guess I'll just grab one. Libra's energy right now. I can't take all those. I can't take all those. Okay, Libra. There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. What is this? Unconventional way. Some of you are connected to a Taurus. Hierophant. It says blended family. Unorthodox polyamory. Mm, never played by the rules before this. Uncharted, unfamiliar territory, fear, and non-traditional values. Some of y'all are connected to a Taurus. Doesn't have to be a Taurus, but this is what's coming out here. This is somebody that you may not have a um, committed relationship with, right? But you may be thinking about it because I feel like you want to do something new with this person that you have never done before. It says uncharted territory is unfamiliar and it could be causing you a bit of fear. Um, this is someone that could be a friend that you crossed that line with, a friends with benefit situation that you may have gone into. Not thinking it was going to be any more than that, but you found yourself catching feelings or vice versa. I might be feeling this way about you. What's going on, Libra? Regret. Remorse, life regrets, loss. Start making empowered choices. We're going to clarify these cards. We have potential, fulfillment, risk, achievement. Your potential is limitless. Some of you may regret not taking a chance with this person. Mirroring, reflection, twin, wholeness, synchronicity abounds. So some of y'all are seeing synchronicities. You're seeing angel numbers, one, 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 two, 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 four, 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 four. Y'all get the point. Y'all are seeing synchronicity, seeing your person's name everywhere, hearing it in songs, things that remind you of them, their address, their um license plate, like different things, the car that they drive, seeing people who remind you of them. For some reason, it could be entertainers. It could be people you see um, out in public. But I feel like either you regret not taking this chance with this person who had all this potential or vice versa. But this is coming through as a twin flame. Look at this, y'all. We got Chaser and we got Cause. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all are on the Virgo Libra cusp. Virgo got the same card and that is also the Hermit, which is a, Vir a Virgo card. It says, um, in action, calmness, step back and wait for a sign. And we have Chaser, in pursuit, convincing, rejection, let them go and let it be. See, some of you may have run from this person and you regret it or vice versa. Why did I let them get away? Because we have potential. Something could have happened in the fall. Something is going to happen in the fall. It says changes in the air. Your answers arrive in autumn. Okay. So some of you are coming back together by the fall. By the fall. It doesn't have to be in the fall. Mm. Okay, Libra. Okay. And Taurus did get that energy as well. I told them between spring and summer most likely, but no later than early fall. So some of y'all, that's what this is. We got the devil. See, look at this. Regret with the devil. This is somebody insecure about the connection. And they regret. They were they were letting something block them from the connection. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. But look, I'm going to try to pay attention. They're cutting themselves free from that devil. These chains that link them to the devil, they're chopping them off with the swords. Could be dealing with another air sign with these swords here. Or someone who's being very logical. Either that's you or your person making a decision to, I, I don't want to live in this regret. I want my person. Let me get rid of this fear, these doubts, these insecurities, because the devil can represent a lot. And the devil can represent addictions, toxicity. So this could be sex addiction, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, um, porn. It could be anything, any any kind of toxicity um, that has kept, kept you bound. Somebody regrets. Losing the other person even as a result of an addiction here. Codependency. It could be anything. Something toxic. Okay, regret. Look at this. The strength card. Leo energy. 
So this person makes you want to be better. The strength card is someone who tames that beast inside of you. They're helping you to defeat that devil. This person is your soft place to land. They're your divine feminine. She's the divine feminine. That's why she can tame that big beast. <laughs> so either this is your energy doing this to someone else or vice versa. I told you, I just, I'm going to read it as energy. Flip it how you need to because I don't know. I'm not asking specifically how you feel, how they feel. So it could be either way. What's the regret? Deception. Seven of Swords Aquarius energy. Someone regrets wearing a mask. That could just be hiding the way they feel. And that could also be running. Someone regrets running. The the um, Seven of Swords is someone escaping connection. So yeah, it's like, wow, you made me feel all these feelings. This is also a card about having strong feelings for someone. You made me feel all these feelings, but I have addictions. I'm wearing a mask. I'm hiding how I feel. What's potential? Potential is coming out as the King of Cups, the Hangman, and the Nine of Swords. See? Somebody is feeling really, really silly for letting this go. And they're all up in their head about it. Could be a Pisces, could be a Gemini. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or a Gemini. The hangman here. Somebody's got a new perspective on something because they went through a dark night of the soul. And a dark night of the soul is when you're having sleepless nights. You're worrying yourself. I call it the existential crisis. Searching for the higher meaning of your life. Why am I here? Why did I go through what I went through? Why did I let my person get away? And now having a new perspective on the connection. You surrendered it, right? But you regret surrendering it. This is remorse and regret as well. Okay, so there's someone here who's up in their head. Both of these cards is people up in their heads about why did I let this go away? Because I have so much potential with this person and I love them. King of Cups is absolutely someone who loves you. Virgo, I believe, got this card too. Don't know if it was in the same position, but they value you. They love you. They're emotionally intelligent. They're making decisions not based on, on their... I mean, you got two Pisces cards, although it could be Cancer Scorpio too. This is predominantly Pisces energy. And so... It's like this person is thinking, I have all this love for this person. I value this person. They mean so much to me. Why did I let them go? Some of you can have locks in your hair. You could have um, dyed them the color red or like a sandy brown, or maybe that's just the natural color of your hair, whether you have locks or not. Okay. What is mirroring? Twin flame energy. The three of wands, the king of pentacles, and the three of pentacles. See? See? Y'all both want the same thing here. But somebody was looking to the past. Something about the past was holding someone back here. This is about progress and momentum. This is about planning for the long term. A lasting love. Okay? Somebody planning, but this is a very patient card. Patiently waiting. So it is a slow card. Although it is a wand. And wands can obviously represent action, right? So it's like it's going to happen. But it may just be something that requires a little bit of patience. We have two threes here. Um... You can have children with this person or may go on to have children or just build a family with them. There's teamwork, collaboration here with the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles want to take you out, spend all this money on you, make a bunch of money to take care of you. They want to be um, loyal and faithful and dependable. Some of you, this person is 40 or over. The kings are always 40 and over. You have two kings here. You got a King of Cups and you have the King of Pentacles. Both of them are loyal, dedicated, trustworthy, um, dependable emotionally mature this person could run a business money looks good with this person and they want to share it with you i know that's right let's chase her this is also maybe someone who's just coming into their own financially maybe they're going to the next level in their career maybe people are finally recognizing their talents and they got a raise or something here that could talk about promotion like rewards and recognition for your hard work look at this look at what's clarifying the chaser we got the chaser clarified by the Eight of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be younger than you. Don't have to be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. So you could be dealing with any of those signs. So this could be your energy. Let me cover up boobs. I don't know why they got these people naked on these cards. It's hard to use the cards. So you got the Page of Cups in the back. I'm hiding her for a reason. The sword, the um, ace of swords is in the middle, which is about clarity. So somebody walked away and then they got clarity that they are actually infatuated with you. So either you're the chaser or they're seeing you. They're either seeing you as the chaser or you're seeing them as a the chaser. But there's a new perspective here that someone has. They walked away. They shut down. They abandoned the connection. But then they got clarity. That What am I doing? Like, I really do like this person. I really do want to be with this person. 
Okay, so this pod, this hermit mode that they've been in. Could have started in the fall. Look at this, y'all. We got the death card, the four of cups, and the hermit, clarifying the hermit. With look at this. Spirit is saying, keep the faith with the Aquarius um, star card here. Something changes in the fall, changes in the air. Your answers arrive in autumn. Have faith, be optimistic. It works out for you in the end. This is all about your higher calling. This is all about your, your uh, true north. This is your life purpose. This is a part of your life purpose. But to get back to pause, look what we got, y'all. The hermit, clarifying the hermit. Some soul searching has been going on. Virgo energy, cancer energy. Excuse me, um, Scorpio energy here with the death card. Yeah, things ended. Somebody was regretful, remorseful. Oh, regretful and remorseful because they let you get away. They had all this potential and then they went into hermit mode, soul searching. Some of them could be in counseling, could have gone to counseling. Yeah, they wanted to be too much in control. This person doesn't like uncertainty. Could be another earth sign. Or, I mean, it could be an, another air sign or an earth sign. Or Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. All right, let's move off of these and let's get to some Oracle cards, which I mean, I love the tarot because it, it clarifies very well, but the Oracles are the ones that really let me know. Let me know. This person wants to, to get with you or vice versa. They feel like they destroyed the connection or you feel that way. All right, let's get into the Oracle cards. Okay, move this. All right, Libra. Okay, bottom of the deck we have, I wrote you texts but never sent them. Donovan is the name. Mm. So Donovan... <laughs> Whoever your person is, they're sitting around writing text messages and then erasing them. They're reading your old text messages. Ain't that something? Things got too messy. Um, it says, Sophia, I'm sorry for ghosting you. I have that. I feel like they ghosted you, you ghosted them. Flip it how you need to. Adam. But look, this person, if they did ghost you, they've been like contemplating reaching out, but then they feel like I got a lot of nerve. I left this person on red. It's so hard to stay mad at you. So some of them may have been mad at you, Jeremy, or maybe that's how you feel. You left an impression on my heart and you did with that strength card. Tessa is the name. Okay. Okay. Let's get into some of these. We have, I didn't give it my best. Told you, regrets. They regret it. You regret it. Somebody regrets it. I can still smell your fragrance on my clothing. So the last time you saw this person, they may have, they went home. They didn't even wash their clothes. Oh, dirty self. <laughs> no, but this person, um, you may have a distinct scent. You know, you may wear a, like a, a signature cologne or perfume. Whatever the case, you smell good. Even if it's just your natural scent, this person can still smell you on the clothing that they wore the last time they saw you. You hug them, kiss them. That part, we have authentic. This is a sure thing, no doubt. They know you're the one and make it known to others without hesitation. That's what's coming this fall. I love it. I love it. Then we have, you You sing a song only I can hear. Some of you like to sing, you can sing, maybe you can't sing or you just like to sing, whatever the case. My sister and I talked about that last night because as Torians, we both, I mean, Taurus people love to sing. <laughs> so maybe you like to sing and they like your voice. Um, let's keep going though. One more. You're my first true love. And that is why they're so fearful or you're so fearful. Look at this unconventional way. Somebody's used to more mm, toxic connections, you know, not so deep. They're not used to deep connections. And it's like this scared them. And it says you left an impression on my heart right there. Okay. We've one piece of advice for you. We're going to close this out. 
curious. I, I like your reading. I mean, you know, are there some challenges? Yes, but this, this is going to be okay. We have the universe. See, the universe is stepping in. The universe is guiding you to that special person. Allow everything to take its natural course. That's exactly what I was about to say. Like, there's some challenges here, but it's going to work out in divine time. All right. So, that's it, Libra. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment if this resonated. And I'll see you all next week. Enjoy your weekend. Peace.